Steve and Sheila buy a computer. Steve feels too piffed of the hard, hard disk with his programs and Sheila feels one third of the hard disk with her own programs. What fraction of the hard drive disk is full? So basically we just add their, um, the one third and the two PF here. So we have for Steve is um he fills in two fifth so and then we add Sheila's programs which is one third and this will give us the answer so two two over five plus one over three is equal to so we need to um find their LCM or least common denominator so we have to change two over five into something over 15 so 5 goes into 15 3 times and then 3 times 2 is equal to 6 so 2 over 5 is the same as 6 over 15 so we replace this 6 over 15 plus and then no we have to change 1 third to so 1 third over 1 over 3 is equal to something over 15 so 3 goes into 15 5 times and then 5 times 1 is 5 so 1 over 3 is the same as 5 over 15 so now they have the same denominator so we can add the um, the numerator so 6 plus 5 is equal to 11 over 15 so this is the um, fraction of the hard, hard drive disk um, that is um, four. Four. So now, if you want to know um, the available size, so we just, so this is the answer. So if, um, so fifteen over fifteen minus eleven over fifteen is equal to four over fifteen is the available space. But they did not ask for this, so it's just a side, um, side work next problem an aquarium has exhibit ex exhibits that features feature different marine animals and five eighths of the staff are males five over 12 of the staff works part-time at the aquarium what fraction of the staff is female so they give us the fraction um, of the male staff which is five over eight so 5 over 8 are males so now they ask um, the fraction of females so overall or the um, total number of staff is 100 or 8 over 8 or 1 so now we can subtract the um, fractions um, the male fractions with this 5 over 8 so 8 over 8 minus 5 over 8 will give us the um, fraction for um, female. So 8 minus 3 is 3 over 8. So 3 eighths are females. The coffee, cu the coffee cups can hold 7 ninths of a pint of liquid. If Emily pours 2 thirds of a pint, of coffee into a cup how much milk can a customer add so a cup is can hold um seven over nine so seven over nine now we have to subtract two thirds because that's the um liquid the um coffee um side um emily pours two thirds of a pint of coffee so what's left is the um fraction for um milk so seven over nine minus two thirds so again they don't have the same denominator so we have to um find their lcm so we have to change two thirds into something over nine so three goes into nine three times and three times two is equal to six so now we have 7 over 9 minus 6 over 9 is equal to 
1 over 9. So 1 9 is um, the fraction that a customer can, um, 1 9 of milk is the um, fraction that can um, a customer add to his um, coffee. So 1 9 1 9. So into next one. Jack spent three fourths of an hour biking and five over five of an hour jogging. Afterwards, he swam for one over eight of an hour. How much time did Jack exercise before he went swimming? So we can, there are two ways we can do this. Well, um, we can just, um, three over four is the same as 45 minutes. So three fourths of an hour is the same as 45 minutes. And five over five of an hour is the same as one hour. So answer, he spent one hour and 45 minutes before he went swimming. So answer, one hour, one hour and 45 minutes minutes now we can also solve it this way so um he spent three fourths three fourths of an hour biking and then another five over five of an of an hour so plus five over five so now we can change the denominator um they don't have the same denominator so we have to change their denominator so three fourth is the same as um, 15 over 20 so 15 over 20 and then 5 over 5 is the same as um, 20 over 20 so 20 over 20 now we can add this fraction so we have 20 plus 15 is the same as 35 is equal to 35 over 20 or this is the same as 1 and um, so we reduce it by 5 we just um, reduce it by 5 so so 35 divided 5 is equal to 7 and 20 divided 5 is equal to 4 or this is the same as 1.75 of an hour. So 1.75, 75 of an hour is the same as 45 minutes. So you will get the same answer of an hour. Because there are 60, second, 60 minutes in one hour. And 75 of an hour is 45 minutes. So either way, you get the same answer. An electrician has three over three and one over sixteenth centimeter of wire. He needs only two and five over eight centimeter of wire for a job. How much wire does he need to cut? So, well, if he needs two. And 5 over 8 centimeter of wire, then that's what he needs to cut. I think we don't need solution on this one. So what he needs to cut is what he needs. So answer 2 and 5 eighths centimeter.